I'm John Karanopoulos. I'm the auto shop teacher here. This is my shop and uh, where I'm hosting this workshop. And one of the reasons why I'm hosting it is uh, uh, I'm in a neighborhood, an inner city neighborhood here in San Diego where uh, a lot of my kids are from the barrio and a lot of information about alternative energy, alternative fuels really doesn't come to those neighborhoods. So what I try to do and what I like to do in my classroom and why I host this is I like to have my students or my community get information here and then disperse it from here. So I like to be able to use this forum as a way to have an outreach about environmental uh, you know, uh, issues. So that's one of the reasons why I hosted it. And, one, and the other one is that you know, everybody has to do their share in whatever they can do to improve where we live. Eventually I will have my electric car built. This is a 1955 Porsche and it will be done and it should be a lot of fun doing that. So we've, this is a two-week class that uh, we've only charged $300 for 10 days and that includes your books, all your materials, your lunches, your breakfast, your water. So it's really, it's not a money-making endeavor. It's more of an outreach and so we really enjoy doing that. My name is Darlene Painter. I am the owner of this, the other 2000 Volkswagen Beetle that's getting done in the conversion class. I'm from Hemet, California. Um, I took the course mainly because I'm a middle school science teacher for a charter school, River Springs Charter School, and I want to take this into my classroom. I want to show kids that when there's a problem, they can think outside the box and try to find the solution and be part of the solution um, and not just go with what the mainstream world has to say. And so I want to bring it into the classroom and allow the students the opportunity to see what's possible. Hi, my name is Carl Kingsbury. I'm an auto shop teacher at Crawford High School um, for IDEA, which is Invention Design Educational Academy. I'm also an adjunct professor for Miramar College for the Advanced Transportation. Uh, taking this class so that I get uh, experience and a little bit of training on the technology uh, surrounding putting a, making a car an electric vehicle. Uh, this is nothing that I've done before. Um, I'm a mechanic that you know has built hot rods and street rods and dragsters and things like that. So this is just some new technology that I'm learning to uh, further myself and further my students. My name is Tony Santana, and uh, I'm taking an electric car class. I'll be teaching at Santana High School. I'll be teaching an electric car class that's in Santee, California. And uh, so that class will be uh, uh, on board as hopefully in the, in the regular school setup as a year-long class on building electric and alternative fuel vehicles. My name is Marco Garcia from San Francisco, California. I have a ranch in Monterey County where I intend to do conversions from electric, uh, from gasoline engine cars to electric vehicles, teach the class. I'm taking the class to uh, get a better understanding of the conversions know the whole process from top to bottom from start to finish of the uh, conversions and so I can be able to teach these classes and do my own conversions back at the ranch. The ranch currently has a wind turbines uh, and I plan on converting the whole ranch is going to be green. We'll be right driving around free. Hi my name is Jose Villalobos and I'm from San Diego and I'm here to start a revolution of electric vehicles. Um, that's why I'm here taking this class. I'm tired of paying gas, so that's why I want to start doing an electric car, run on batteries. Um, I have an old Camaro uh, that is a gas guzzler, wastes a lot of gas, so I'm hoping to, after this class, begin the process of converting it to electric. My name is Jim Borkis, and uh, I'm involved with the class only because uh, I belong to the Electric Vehicle Association. I also make uh, electric horses and we make them electric. I want to get the word out to the world about electric vehicles. There's a gentleman from Italy, there's a gentleman from Hawaii, a gentleman right here from Colombia, uh, there's one from Chile. So now the word is getting out and if we can get people to start building electric cars all over the world, it'll be absolutely phenomenal. My name is Vicki Randall and I'm from San Diego, California and I'm taking the class to learn about maintenance of an electric vehicle and this is because my car is being converted in the class as the class project. I am converting my car to an electric vehicle because I want to be able to take positive steps in preserving our environment and also to make um, the process 
well known eventually the car will be painted and will have logos on it so as I drive it around town our community will be able to see that it can be done and that we don't have to wait decades to get the type of technology we want to drive around on the roads. My name is John Chablow. I'm a professor at Miramar College and I'm a student here at this electrics class. I've been teaching in the aviation technology area for 30 years and this electric conversion technology is starting to move into aviation. So my reason is to find out what the commonalities are between aircraft conversion and aircraft uh, and automobile conversions. My name is Jose Lopez. I'm from Imperial Valley College. You know, the reason I'm taking this class because uh, we like to integrate this program to the, uh, to the, uh, to the courses over there. Uh, if I had to wait one year to take the class because I was on the waiting list, you know. So I really enjoyed the class, I learned a lot, and we're going to integrate this program over there in Imperial Valley College. That's what it Hi, my name is uh, Mike Haynes. Um, I have a daughter, and she's a big reason why I'm taking this class. Um, I think it's time for, uh, for people to realize what's going on with the environment and uh, how you know, our choices of lifestyles affect that. And um, looking at my daughter and thinking of my grandchildren, I want them to be able to enjoy clean air. And that's why I'm here today, to uh, learn how to make electric vehicles, how to convert our already existing vehicles to electric, clean, you know, free-flowing, awesome, Cars. Greg Aldana, A-L-D-A-N-A, -A, from Santee, California. Um, you know, I'm taking it because I want to, I, my wife still commutes, and I want her to get a more efficient way of commuting, and this we can plug in at home and she can plug in at work, zero gas. And uh, I'm also taking it for my grandkids, or really, you know, I've got three children and 14 grandkids. The little grandkids are very much interested in this. And what's nice about this class, it not only teaches you how to build an electric car, but it teaches you how to maintain an electric car. Because for all of us that are going to go electric, you can't pull into a gas station and say, fix my car. They'll have no way of knowing how to fix it. So we have to learn how to fix these cars. We're like the old Model A owners that first got those Model A's off the assembly line. There was nowhere to take them to fix them, so we had to learn how to fix them. Not that I'm that old. Uh, I'm David Stouffer. I'm from San Diego, born and raised. And I'm taking this class to... Uh get an idea of how to convert a car to an electric car. I have one at home that failed smog test and instead of buying all the parts necessary for adding this so it'll pass the smog, I decided that I would learn how to make it electric instead. So that's why I'm here. It turns out that a lot of these skills are, are fairly easy and I think that anybody who had basic, basic skills um, with drilling or hammering could, could do this. That's what's great about it. Um, I went in thinking, oh, I'm not going to know how to do it, but, but uh, after two or three days, you really have this confidence that you can really do this thing, and, and it, it's coming together beautifully. I think we should be done you know, today. At the end of the day, we should have this car running. My name is Tom, I'm from San Diego. I'm taking the class because I kind of wanted to be part of the solution rather than the problem and uh, I'd like to convert my own vehicle and drive an electric car. My name is Haven Putnam and I'm from San Diego and I took this class to convert a VW thing which is a World War II vehicle uh, to run on, on a hybrid mode so it would work in a third world country. I also have a Prius which is at the other extreme where it's technology and we're in an issue now that all the cars that don't pass smog here end up in Mexico. So our, our efforts to clean up the air are only valid if we can take our neighbors across the border and show them that we can have a vehicle that's no maintenance or low maintenance and it can re be repaired without a lot of high technology. Uh, hello, my name is David Myers, I'm from Hawaii. I uh, am taking the class here because I feel the fuel costs and pollution created in our little island state need to be addressed. Um, as well as doing the conversion of cars to electric engines, what I would like to also try and get accomplished in Hawaii is to put it in boating, our boating industry there, so we can uh, keep our waters and 
our beautiful Pacific Ocean clean. But outside of that, um, I'm having a great time. There's a wonderful group of people here. Uh, the, the interest is overwhelming, and I'm uh, proud and happy to be part of the movement here. My name is Tanya Enholm, and I am from San Diego. And I'm taking the class because it's a great opportunity to become acquainted, uh, sort of grassroots, with the uh, other alternative technologies available for automobiles. And it's been a wonderful opportunity to meet like-minded individuals, and that's been a very wonderful experience.